everyone, thanks for checking out Armatist Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the PhoneScope Google Pixel 2 XL phone case. My couch for my MEP 90 So like I said, I've kind of already done uh, a review on something like this before. Um, it's kind of like their older design. This one's a little bit newer. Um, kind of has different textures, a little smoother, but also kind of has like a... Almost like a flannel kind of pattern, but not really. Anyway, it's, it's an updated design. And this is for my Google Pixel 2 XL. Um, and I'm doing this uh, review um, kind of in collaboration with Team POI. Um, they're a company that I've kind of teamed up with a little bit to do product reviews for them. Um, they have partnerships with different manufacturers that will send them stuff um, and they just wanted me to do some reviews. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of doing that, which will be great because it will get me access to um, really great products that I normally probably wouldn't have access to. So thanks uh, Team POI and PhoneScope for um, setting this up with me to do a review. Um, just full disclosure, I didn't pay for this, it was sent to me for review. So for those who don't know, PhoneScope creates uh, a few different types of products, but they're mostly known for um, their digiscoping products, uh, which means that um, you can put something like your cell phone, um, a GoPro, um, you know, different video devices um, onto your spotting scope, or now they have one for your rifle scope. Um, they even have for telescopes and, and uh, microscopes, things like that. So it's basically a way to to record video through some sort of device like that. So, um, but this one, I used it with uh, a Vortex um, spotting scope just to kind of get some shots of my impacts on steel. So phone scope has a lot of different parts to its products, uh, so to speak. Um, they have a phone case that's made specifically for your phone so it fits nice and snug and as slim as possible, it has access to all your buttons, uh, things like that, just like this. This case was made for my Pixel 2 XL. Um, they also have universal uh, phone mounts, which I've done a review on. Um, it worked pretty well. You know, my only kind of problem with that is that it just wasn't, the screw just wouldn't get tight enough so that it wouldn't shift out of view of the camera. Um, but other than that, it was good. You just have to be kind of more careful with it than maybe you do this. Like I said, they also make um, some attachments for like a GoPro. So if you have a GoPro, you want to use that instead, instead of your phone, um, you can do that. Um, then they have another piece. Okay, this is like the optic adapter. This, depending on what you're using, will go over the eyepiece of your spotting scope or your telescope or, or whatever it is you're using, right? They'll have different mounts for this. They also have a universal one that kind of gets bigger and smaller in diameter to cinch around the eyepiece, kind of centers it. I have one of those, I did a review on that as well. Go check it out, I'll put a link down in the description below. But yeah, so you have this piece and this this disc right here is a part of this case. It's connected, it doesn't come off without breaking it. Um, so then this piece will go on the eyepiece of your optic. And then it just, there's these little, little pieces that stick out and little slots for them and stuff. I catch. And uh, you put it in. You rotate it and it snugs up and then you put this on the optic adapter I'm gonna probably roll some B footage in right about now how this looks but you'll have the phone you know like this or just however you want to orient it right then you can pull up the video uh, app on your phone and you can take pictures record video and it will pull that through the optic and then you can record it on your phone so if you see a deer with a real nice rack then you can get video of that i took this out and like i said recorded some of my impacts so i'll put that in the video here so you can see that i use some slow-mo with my pixel 2 xl hopefully that comes out pretty well Um, let's go back to more, some more of the details of the phone case itself. This particular one, um, it's very, very, like I said, they, they fit really well, very snug. Slightly too snug, snug sometimes. 
Um, I have kind of a hard time getting the phone out of this case for some reason. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But uh, like, there's just not really any good, there's like little cutouts and stuff on the bottom and on the sides and stuff, but I just can't seem to, to get like a good grip on it. So I have to kind of like peel the, the, the sides of the plastic over the phone. And sometimes it's just kind of a, sometimes a little difficult, but at least you know your phone's not gonna fall out. So if I just kind of, see, I mean, it came out okay. Once you kind of find your groove, um, I just had to kind of peel this corner back a little bit so I can grab the phone and just kind of give it a good tug. It came out. So it's not impossible. It takes a little bit of work. I kind of miss their old phone case design a little bit. A little bit. It's not as clean looking. It's not as, as sleek, I guess you could say. Um, but it does have this little tab right here. If you guys can kind of see that, and uh, it's it's just a, it's a little bit easier. You kind of pull the tab out, and phone comes out. Still took a slight little bit of work, as you can see, but um, it did come out just just a little bit easier than the current style. So um, I do kind of miss that. I wish they kind of, hopefully in the future, they'll maybe put another little pull tab thing on there, but it works. It just takes a little bit more work than the old one. And the phone scope case does come with a lifetime warranty. If it breaks, phone scope will fix it. It'll take care of you. So that's really nice to not have to worry about that in case something happens. The cost for the phone scope itself, the case itself, not the optic adapter, is about $45 plus shipping, which was about $7 for me in Utah. So um, this will be a little bit extra depending on what you get. Um, but yeah, this typically, unless you get like a bundle, this typically will not, it's not included in that $45 price. Go check out their website. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can kind of shop around, see what would work better, you know, what would work best for your situation. I've done a review on the, on the phone scope Bluetooth remote. Um, and that works really well in conjunction with this because then if you're trying to take a picture especially video not so much as a huge thing because you can kind of edit that out but with a picture taking a picture of a nice nice elk or something you tap the phone to take the picture it's gonna shake when it's taking that picture just a little bit whether it's the slightest it's gonna affect your picture with the Bluetooth remote it's really nice to use with this because if there's no physical contact you can just push it it'll activate the shutter on your phone and then you get a nice crisp picture. I've done a video on that. I'll put a link down in the description below as well. And it's not very expensive. So it's, it's a nice addition to have with this. If you plan on taking a lot of pictures, um, maybe scouting, things like that. Another thing to note is that it does come with a kickstand on the back, um, which I have found to be a little difficult to deploy. Um, if you try to pull that from one side, it, it kind of like snags on the other side. I don't have very long nails to be honest with you. Um, so there we go. See, so it locks in. Nice little kickstand there, so you can lay your phone down, uh, not lay it down, but put it on its side. Um, I guess on that side to hold it up, or um, probably like that too, right? So, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful. Kind of gives you guys a, a glimpse of kind of the newer design of their uh, phone scope case and. Uh, Kind of let you know what you can do if you want to capture some video, some pictures of impacts or nature, you know, deer, elk, whatever it is you might be hunting or just scouting. Um, it's a really cool design. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Uh, if you're not a subscriber already, I would strongly encourage you to hit that subscribe button um, because I'm going to be putting out uh, more, uh, better content as time goes on, especially with the help of Team POI now. Um, so if you want to see cool uh, videos, um, stuff that I'll be doing more reviews on, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to check out the links down in the description below. I'll put links to everything I've kind of talked about and shown on the video. Um, so you guys can check those out if you want. Thanks for watching. Take care.